Hey, welcome guys. Today we're in beautiful Kaimuki and we're here at the Nudes Ramen Bar. And it's pretty much a trendy ramen bar with some really interesting ideas where they fuse different cuisines with regular ramen. So let's go check it out. So this is their menu with all their different offerings. If it's too fast for you, you can pause it to read each item and the price. And they also have different sides to go with your ramen and soft drinks. What you think is like interesting about this menu? What's interesting about this menu? I mean, it's pretty basic ramen, but they, they do a little twist to it. Like, for example, this, this birria ramen, the, the whole big thing right now is birria tacos because here in Hawaii, they haven't had anything birria. So this should be pretty interesting because it's noodles and birria, you know? That, that, that's kind of crazy. We got our stuff and it looks really, really good. Mm -hmm. and it looks super fancy. Um, Mine has like little wontons and birria sauce and I'm assuming the noodles are all under there. Mm -hmm. Looks I like a little bit of meat. meat. Yeah. And mine smells very coconutty and very Thai, so mm -hmm. I guess we'll dig in. Itadakimasu. I like the texture of the noodles. Super good. This is already kind of spicy, so I don't know if I should put more. Mm. How is it? It's like a Mexican ramen. Oh, sounds really good. It's really good. This is legit, like, yeah, mine too, like Thai, Thai the flavors. Is super tender. Like a video should be. Yeah. Wow, it's like a, a really long, great beef. Yeah. <laughs> the beef is super tender, super good. Super beefy flavors, I love it. Mm. How's everything tasting so far? Good. Super good. Excellent, thank you. Mine has bamboo shoots on it, too. Nice Thai flavors. And mine has a big egg and a big piece of char salt. Super good. Super good. Really good, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it, it seems like a really young staff area. Yeah. So it's young, it's hip. You know, it's a good hangout spot. Definitely a good um, uh, date spot too if you're gonna go out for your first date or something. Yeah, not too fancy. Yeah. But good. Not too expensive either. Mm -hmm. Price range is pretty good. Mm, the char siu is super tender and nice and fatty. Super tasty. And then you get this spice that you can put in yourself so it's not going to be too hot. So that's a good thing. Did you try some already? Yes, I put a little bit in there. I didn't want to put too much. I'm glad he didn't put it in for us because that's a little bit too much. I is think it, it that's a lot of spice. I just put a little bit in there and it's, it's good for me. Okay, let me try this. Mine has very little heat. Even with the jalapenos? Yeah. This is more like a paprika, I think. Oh, is it? Smells like it. Smell them. It smells like Korean chili pepper. Really? Just grind it up. Because <laughs> it reminds me of my mom making kimchi. <laughs> okay, let's try. Because I like the spice. I like how they tied everything in with a little a wonton strips, but they're um, tortilla, like deep fried tortillas. So it reminds me of the taco. Yeah. It's like definitely a dissected taco for sure. I think the best thing too is um, food comes out fast. Mm -hmm. we, didn't, we didn't even have to wait that long. It was literally like less than five minutes. Yeah. So I'm gonna try out their gyoza. I got their garlic one. 
It tastes like regular good gyoza, but it's got that crunchy garlic chips on it and like some chili oil. Super good, you should try some. Okay. <laughs> Mm. Super good. Mmm. <laughs> wow. It's um, fried garlic chips, so it's like mm. crunchy. And then some chili oil. That's really good. Super garlicky. I love it. Yeah. I'm glad I got that instead of just the regular gyoza. Because I think the regular doesn't come with the garlic I mean, chips. I think you had one gyoza. You've had them all. That's really good. This is really good. I'm glad we found this place. Yeah. We were originally going to go somewhere else. We were searching and searching for different places, and we stumbled up upon this place. This is a good choice. It's very spontaneous. Mm -hmm. It's definitely off the beaten path, that's for sure. <laughs> for us, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> We don't, we don't look really out this way. Come on this side. I'm curious as to what this egg is. Because they had quail eggs too on the menu. I wonder if it's a quail egg. Because it's got a funky color. It's like mm. purple. Mm. And it's bigger too, yeah. Quail Interesting. Eggs are a little yeah, they're bit little. Smaller. I'm not sure what kind of egg it is, but it's got an interesting mm. inside. Maybe it's pigeon. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> If it is a pigeon egg, then it's probably a a la park pigeon egg. <laughs> okay. So, all your choices are going to come on the side. I like this little hook too, look. So your spoon never falls in the hole. Mm. Isn't that cute? Very ingenious. Simple things, right? Because yeah. I do hate when my spoon keeps falling in the bowl. Right. And gets all wet. I wasn't too sure on getting this, because sometimes it can either be really bad or really good, but I'm glad I got it. The Thai curry ramen. Because sometimes it sounds good in your mind, but it doesn't come out good. Mm. But it really does have good Thai flavors. I haven't tried Kiria here yet in Hawaii. I tried it on the mainland. Mm -hmm. And this is pretty close to what I remember. Oh, yeah. It's like all the rage right now here in Hawaii, either Biria or Ube, everything, you know? So I was like, why not? I gotta try it. It's a good idea. Mm. To put it with I'm ramen. I'm definitely not disappointed for sure. Looks really good. This is really good. And super filling too. This bowl, usually I could eat a lot more, but this is a good amount right here. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting pretty I'm full. satisfied right now, and I'm almost done. The onions are still crunchy, but they're not tannic. Mm -hmm. You know how when you cut fresh onion, it's a little... Like, there's bite. strong. Um, it kind of cooked down a little bit, but they're still crunchy, so it's really good. I'm done. I kind of whooped that down. That was delicious. Stick a fork in her. I just want to go to sleep now. Take a nap. <laughs> she has to. A nap attack. She got to wake up early. Yeah. Old lady status. I'm an early bird. Here we are, we are done with our dinner. And yeah. what did you think of it? Really good. Really, really good. Um, cute little spot. Kind of edgy, kind of modern. Um, with a little bit of Japanese twist to it with uh, some of the paintings and the artwork, but I, I like it. It's really modern. Young vibe. Mm -hmm. I really like the food and I thought they were really creative um, with all the different cuisines that they mixed with the ramen, like Mai Thai uh, soup and then your Mexican ramen, your right. video. And they had other traditional things such as like the black garlic ramen, they had chio ramen too if you're not into the mixed kind of things, but I thought it was really good and it I wasn't it was too really bad. Good. I got a stamp card. I'll definitely yeah, come back. Yeah, you get a stamp card if you come back. And then um, the service was quick and yep. it was very pleasant. And we got seated right away. I think it's pretty safe too. Yeah. Um, with the COVID measures yes. they have. It was so sterile. They had plastic curtains everywhere. Yeah. So, um, and then for parking, you just pretty much go in 
park at the municipal lot that they have in Kaimuki. Um, there's one behind that building and then there's another parking lot near um, Big City Diner as well if you can't find parking at the other one. So there's plenty of parking here. Um, so yeah, definitely check out Nude's Ramen Bar. That was super delicious and affordable too. And I'll see you again next time. Peace out. Bye. Bye.